Hey guys, this is Adam Lane with PocketNow.com, and we are going to take a quick look, well, maybe a closer look at the speech interface on Windows Phone Mango. Let's check it out. First off, one of the really good changes for Windows Phone Mango is that you can now use the speech interface with a Bluetooth headset. Previously, you could only use the call command with Bluetooth. All the other commands you had to do through the speaker, through the microphone on the device. So that was kind of a pain. So here it is. You hold down the start button. And the first time you do it, you're going to get this little help window that says, what can I say? Uh, subsequent ones will go straight to the listening mode. So this is just a quick little hint as to uh, what kind of commands you can use here. So let's try open open table starting open table so that's a app launching interface let's go back and there's a little question mark here this will give you more information about what you can say so here's the call command. You can do all this call voicemail. Redial is a good command to have. And also a nice thing is call Alex on speakerphone. So you can go straight to speakerphone if you want there. Here's fine. This is going to do Bing searches. So we can try that. Open will open uh, different types of apps on your phone. So you can just say the name of the app, open such and such. And even go to settings. The text command is really good. So this is something you can really easily do uh, from your Bluetooth headset if you want to text somebody. Here's some more options. While you're on a call, you can call another person or press numbers. Two other cool features are saving speed dial and uh, turn call forwarding on and off. So let's try a couple of these. Find. Find what you're looking for with Bing. Try saying. Find coffee in Seattle. If you want it read to you, there you go. I got another phone over here, so let's uh, use some interactive speech interface stuff here. Text Adam. Adam Lean. Texting Adam Lean. Say your message. How are you doing? How are you doing? You can say send or try again. Send. So that should send a text message to the other phone. Four zero four two one nine zero nine seven nine. You can say read it or ignore. Read it. How are you doing? You can say reply, call, or I'm done. Call. Calling end one four zero four two nineteen zero nine seven nine. Now we'll be able to hear the caller ID. So it's uh, telling me who's calling. It's pretty nice. So there's our call and texting with uh, no hands, hands free, completely there. Uh, the messaging also works if you're receiving instant messages from Facebook or Windows Live Messenger. So those will show up the same way and uh, ask you if you want to read them. So that's pretty nice. Uh, let's show a couple other features. Find weather. Searching for weather. 
And there's our weather, so that's pretty good. Find movies. Searching for movies. There we go, straight to the movies. Pretty good, but it doesn't actually tell me, it doesn't talk back and tell me what the movies are or whatnot. So there's still a few things missing from the speech interface. We don't have any way to set a destination in the maps program for navigation. We don't have any way to control the media player like we did back in Windows Mobile 2003 where you could say play so and so and the music would start playing. So there's uh, other things missing is the calendar integration. I can't ask, ask it what my next appointment is. Uh, that feature is still not there. Again, something Windows Mobile 2003 could do. But the instant messaging one is really nice. So they're trying to make up for it. <laughs> anyway, that's a good look at your speech interface on Windows Phone Mango. Pretty nice. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a thumbs up if you did. And that's it for now.